guys, and yeah, ba yes, I know, back with another video, and I gotta tell you something. First, this video is uh, what kind of rods I have, and then uh, I gotta so tell you that I'm probably gonna make a video either once every day or two, just because, you know, I need to get subscribers and likes on my videos, so we're gonna start with this first rod. This is a 7 foot 10 Moose Mock Crush on an uh, a Mock Smash. No, this is a Mock Smash. Yeah, a Moose Mock Smash uh, 7 foot 10 rod. I think this is a medium heavy rod. Yep, medium heavy, fast action. Now, this is one of my favorite rods and reels I have. This. And if you want to know brand it is, clearly the Moose. Yeah, and this thing's got a. Uh, 7.51 gear ratio, and yeah, I love this thing a lot, and it's got these little grits, I don't know what that is, that's the tension, it's got everything, and every big has just got tension. This is my 7 foot 8, no, this is my 6 foot, yeah, this is my 6 foot rod, with, I got that paired up with 10 pound braid, no, this, that rod right there has 17 pound uh, mono on full carbon. This got 15 pound braid, and this guy I just got that on a Ned rig. And then this is the Lose Mark Crush uh, on an ugly stick. Uh, yeah, I gotta land it on a Shakespeare ugly stick. I mean, it's still a good, it's a good combo. I mean, like I'd like it if they were both loose, but I think they make good combos. This is a seven foot rod. This is a uh, medium rod. This takes 6 to 15 pound rod. And this should be. Um, no, okay, we'll forget it. And then this is the Lose Rock Crush. Speeds on a speed stick. This thing is a really nice. This thing cast really good too. I got water on me, real crap. I was fishing today in the complete winterness of winter. And I'm really, I pray to God, and I pray to God that this weekend I can film a, my first bullhead video, fishing at the bullhead on YouTube, like actually fish, actually filming it. I did it before a couple weeks ago, but I didn't catch anything, so I decided not to upload it. And then this is a, should be seven foot eight. Yeah, this is a seven, no, it's a six foot nine. I thought it was seven foot. Yeah, it's six foot nine. A uh, medium light rod, fast action. What the? Yeah, fast action. This is a really nice rod and reel. This combo is amazing. I got that thing. And then we're moving on to the ice fishing combo. My only ice fishing combo I had. Had. I had uh, a couple closed face rod. Or what do you call those? Push buttons. This just probably up with eight pound, either eight or ten, either eight or six pound cast. I'm positive it's eight, but I just got a J hat on that because if I do go bullhead fishing, I'm gonna bring this. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna use night calls. I might use hot dog or minnows or something like else. I'll tell you one thing: bullhead fishing in the winter, it's not not easy. These fish aren't gonna be wandering around really really fast and they're, they're mostly likely to be burying themselves in the mud so it might be a little harder so you might want to use more stinkier baits ice fishing is same thing but and then i got my two cat fishing rods this i have no idea what this is i actually no idea what that reel is i'm just gonna go ahead and say it's a shimano because it looks like a shimano no idea i got 17 pound line Either 14 or 17, I think it's 14. A giant catfish hook, hook or hook. On this 14 pound, yeah, this is 17 pound line. And then a 14 pound leader. And I got this swivel. And then I got a uh, slider with a big old sinker on there. And then this, ooh, okay, then this rod is a, just a Shakespeare ugly stick. This is like a, you know, a six foot six. Medium, uh, medium rod. It takes 8 to 20 pound line, which is impressive. 8, line, eight pound text. This is not the reel that it came with. It came, I actually got this like a, couple, a year ago, 
in 2020, I actually got this lot reel with a uh, sh Shakespeare Black Max? What? I don't know. It's just some. It, we got it from Gander Outdoor, Aldean Outdoors. Then this rod, what is like my favorite rod I have almost, besides those spinning, spin rods in that one bait caster. This is one of my oldest bait casters. No, my second oldest. I mean, no, my third oldest. My first oldest is broke. Uh, yeah, this is the Abagosia uh, Ultramax. I really like this thing. It casts really nice and really far. And it's got the same rod as that, which is a six foot six. Medium heavy, medium fast action rod. It, you know, it takes the same alarm line. Over here in the last video, I did show you this, but I do have uh, this. I have this. This, as I know, I shouldn't be using 14 pound line with a swim bait rod, should be using 20 or 17 or 30 pound braid. But this is all I had, and this line is pretty then new. I actually had line on this before, yeah, but it ran out because I was. Using it or something, but yeah. And then this 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 reel is some type of dial reel. I don't know the name of it because I kind of got it at a a garage sale when my dad did. But this rod is a actually the best post shop stick. Six foot six, medium heavy fast action rod, and it takes ten to twelve twenty pound line. And then over here we got. My brother's fly reel, we got my fly rod. You guys remember, he broke my fly rod, and I, I ha we had the same exact ones. So, I'm gonna show you it. It's got an eight pound leader. Yeah, it's got an eight pound leader. Oh, a little heavy, but here it is. This is my brother, it is my brother's, so we wear that, but we had the same ones. This is a fly rod. No idea what the name of it. It's just a Martin fly rod we got from Dix. These are pretty good fly rods. Yeah, but so most of you, most people don't really know how to fly fish. But if you don't, it's pretty quick and easy to learn how to. And then this is the original rod my Abagosu uh, Ultramax came on. This Vendetta. Oh uh, no, it's not a Vendetta. It's a you guys can read it. It is an obligacy allowed. I like this thing. But one problem is, if you go up and look at the wings, I'm not using blade braid. My the my line is gonna really get bugged out on me because those those are missing. So this rod sucks balls. I don't even think it's that strong. I see. I mean the rod's pretty good. The rod is good. It's just that I don't know about it. Might as well show you some of my brother's rods. He doesn't fish anymore. If you guys know his TikTok channel, it's Bass101. He doesn't really fish anymore. He used to fish a lot last year. But this is one of his Shimano reels. That we also got at some garage sale. It's not the best looking one. And the gear ratio sucks balls. But it's still a pretty nice rod. It casts pretty good. And then this is mine, actually. And this is, I forgot to show you this. This is like... A 30 year old reel. This was actually my poppy, so he's passed away. RIP and Shimano FX. I don't know. It's got a. It's, it's, it's a really good rod. That's all I can say. It's a really good riding reel. Six foot six, medium light? Uh, medium. I don't know. It's a graphite rod, which. No, since then, I know it's really good. I can't really get that reel because. It's surrounded by that. And then, if we go over here, we got, I think that's it, I think that's it, so, thank you for watching, everybody. And if you're seeing this, we might not really have good luck in fishing for bullhead this weekend, because it is snowing really bad out, but I pray to God, hopefully, it doesn't do that. It is winter, so that doesn't matter, and I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.